Hi friend, uh, welcome back. Uh, in this video, we'll see how to transfer data uh, or how can you take data from Azure Data Explorer to Power BI. Okay, so for that, if you are seeing my video first time, you can check my previous video. So how I have created cluster and all um, in detail. However, I'm still um, creating a cluster, new cluster. Okay. So here I am giving my name uh, and I'll keep other things pretty similar. There will be no changes uh, which I'm doing uh, in this. So you can see here cluster URL, URL is here. And apart from this, what we have to do, we have to insert some uh, tables here. Okay. So for that, what I, I will do, like I'm going to home and here I, I have to ingest the data. So uh, for that, what I will do, um, let me go to tables. Let me check any tables. I can do it here. It's fine if I don't want to go there. So what I can do, like uh, there is one option. Where it is that option? Uh, get data. Okay. So in the get data, you can see local file. I'm going to local files and I'll go here in my cluster in my database. Here I have to give the table name. So what I have did it, I have this table. So what I'm doing, I'll, I'm copying this table name. So it will be easy for me. Oh, sorry. So now let me copy just the table name. Oh, sorry, it is opening. We'll see what all details are there in the table also. But for now, I have to just paste the table name here. I'm just pasting and go to the browse. and I am uh, taking that file from that place and um, up uploading here. It may take some time. Okay, uh, so my data is loaded. Just I am putting here. Okay, let's do next. So it will ask for your headers. So yes, I want uh, headers also here and let's finish this. It will take some time and uh, it will Okay, by the time we'll see what all details we have. So this is the, these are the details which is uh, available uh, regarding patients. So again, this is Excel only. Okay, mm -hmm. so it is pending. Uh, let it load. Okay, uh, successfully ingested. So this is how uh, you can add your data in your in your database. So here you can see. Let me refresh this. Once we will refresh. So you can see here one table. Same, uh, same. You can add other tables also. Let me add one more for the example, so it will be helpful for you if you have any doubts. Okay, new table. Simple. Uh, you can do a new table again. I'm going to here. Uh, let me click on this procedure. Right click. I'm copying this table name, pasting here. Enter. Browse this file. Procedures. Okay, let it load again. Once this will load, then uh, yeah, it is loaded now. Again, I'm doing the same action here, and I'm doing the finish. Okay, uh, and then once this will complete, I think this is pending showing as of now. Once this will complete, then we will move to the uh, Power BI. And we will see how you can connect your um, ADA, A -A, Azure Data Explorer or Kushto. So here, again, you have to refresh. So you can see here, uh, everything is available. So if I will uh, write here the um, table name, so you can see here, like it will give me, once I'll run this, it will give me all the data which is available there. In the bottom, you can see, okay. Uh, so let's start um, ingesting this into your Power BI. Before that, make sure one thing, guys. Whatever um, here account you are logging here, um, once you will logging with the same account in Power BI, you will not face any challenges because um, it happened with me. Like when I was trying with in a different account, I was facing some challenges. Okay, so here. Um, Kushto, like in the okay in the get data in the search option, I'm writing Kushto. So 
uh, you can see this kushto is there it is asking regarding the cluster so what you can do for the cluster uh, you have remember we have created one cluster so you can see cluster url is here and you can just copy and paste it that's all you need to do if you want to do more actions yes you can put the query also num um, and limit uh, the query result also those things you can do import or direct it's up to you i will prefer direct because there will be more data you can expect okay uh, here it will ask the sign in simply do the sign in uh, based on your uh, means sign in option okay and simply you can do connect once you will connect it will give you it will take some time and then automatically it will uh, give you the data tables and whatever you want to get it so again this is my cluster name this is my database and these are my tables simply you can preview it and just you can load it it's up to you okay uh, so you can see here these files are loading so a uh, few things which are which is um important like make sure your cluster details whatever you are giving that is correct else you might face challenges like you will think why it is not working and also now you can see here i have these tables are present here presented here so now it's up to you whatever action or visual or dashboard you would like to make it it's up to you you can do it so yeah uh this was the easy process okay i i hope you have liked this video please like share and uh, subscribe this channel uh, based on my experience uh, where whenever i will feel like uh, this can be helpful for someone i'll try to make a video so thank you very much guys